I am Naveen Prasad, coordinator of Seva International, giving you a visual account of the recent flood situation in Bihar, even after almost four months. This was my second visit to the five flood affected districts of Bihar, that is Saharsa, Madhepura, Supal, Araria, and Purnia. Puja is being performed for the newly bought mobile medical van at Singheshwar Temple in Saharsa. This van has been sponsored by Seva International USA to serve the flood victims of Bihar and addressing the immediate health risks and needs of the affected people. Health checkup camps and free distribution of medicines will be done on a regular basis till the situation turns to normal. We are on our way to village Nuniari Tola in Sankar block of Madhepura district. Due to the water logging, this village still looks like an island and seen in the picture are people making their way to reach their destination. This village has 110 families. Even concrete structures are seen washed off. We went around the village to see and assess the loss suffered. A temporary bamboo bridge has been made to cross over the other side of the village. A person is carrying his bicycle over his shoulders to reach his village. The marooned agricultural land is seen in the picture where the decayed crop lie piled up and deposition of silt is seen on the highlands. There are still many of them who were dislocated due to the flood and are staying in temporary hut shelters at the bunds as seen in the picture. We travelled on the temporary road made operational on the existing river bunds as many roads and bridges are still being repaired. More temporary shelters in view. The second village I visited was Choti Phatoria in Alam Nagar block of Madhepura district. This village has 200 houses. In view is a national highway joining Saharsa and Madhepura which was washed off more than a kilometer due to the flood waters. It has been made operational only for smaller vehicles by piling sandbags and bricks with bamboo fencing to stop further erosion. This has been made operational on the 10th of December. Small children of the village studying in a temporary shelter as their original school was completely destroyed. We went around the village to assess the loss. You can see the temporary bamboo fencing which is being used to go from one side to the other side. Seen in the picture is a person crossing over to the other side. I'm 
This was a two-storied school. The whole ground floor has been collapsed due to the flood and remains submerged under water. You can see in the picture sand being filled in plastic bags to repair the damaged roads and bridges. Seen in the picture is the building which we plan to hire on rent to start a boys hostel at Bihari Ganj to educate the children affected due to floods. A piece of land which we propose to buy for building up a boys hostel at Bihari Ganj in Madhepura district. This is a three acre land located in front of the Bihari Ganj railway station. We then visited Chameli Devi school run by Vidya Bharti where over 400 children are being imparted good quality education. The boys of our hostel too will be admitted in this school. You can see another road being repaired with the help of sandbags and bricks. You can see a destroyed structure surrounded on all sides by standing water. This was a big sugar mill, which now remains shattered. More temporary shelters in view. Clearly, it is not the extent, but the unpredictable intensity of the crisis that makes it a catastrophe. It's probably not right to call what has happened in Bihar as merely floods. It's basically a large displacement where hundreds of villages now fall in the new path of River Kosi. It's not like normal floods where the excess water of the river creates problems. Rather, it's a disaster where hundreds of villages, thousands of houses are submerged in water and thousands of people and cattle have lost their lives. The scale, the suffering and the kind of devastation is mind-boggling. Even after four months, thousands are still stuck inside villages, still submerged in water. I have to confess that even after witnessing and working in many disasters since 1999, I have never seen such scale, such tough terrain to work in. There is a sea of suffering with no end to the tunnel because these are not just victims of this disaster, but most have been victims of extreme poverty for the last many decades. And reality is that for many months the situation will remain grim. One can hardly see electricity or concrete houses in villages. In short, even before this disaster, life for many was already much below the normal living standard and has been made worse due to the flood now. Seva International appeals to join hands and look into the issues to mitigate the hardships of the flood victims. Thank you very much.